you might think no small business could challenge Whole Foods, but in San Francisco, Buy Right, a store about the size of your average 7-Eleven, has beaten Whole Foods to the punch. Buy Right's been in my family since 1964. It's been in neighborhood market since 1940. My dad used to make me come down and do, do work after school, and I did that until I was about 17. Graduated from high school and wanted nothing to do with the grocery business ever again. And then fell in love with cooking and became a chef and then opened up my own restaurant in San Francisco's financial district and, and did that for seven years before coming back to the family business. My brother and I decided that we were going to take it over and we gutted the space and started from scratch. I hate the word gourmet because that's not what I think we did. I think what we, we did was we went real. We started, we started serving food that we loved and what I did was bring a chef's perspective. You know, as a cook, in order to make a great dish, you had to buy and select great ingredients. And so I felt that there was a void in the marketplace for consumers who are passionate about food to go and find chef-driven ingredients other than like farmer's markets. And the farmer's markets were still nascent. They weren't ex as explosive as they are today. And there weren't really great meat markets. You know, we were one of the first retailers in San Francisco to serve all natural meat. We used the, you know, poultry that was available at most restaurants. And if I'm going to sell the food, I want it to be the best food that I can find. And I want people to begin to understand that, you know what, good food has good flavor. And that's the basis for a great dish. I believe in supporting a family business because they took care of my family. And so now I'm, t now I'm taking care of their family. <laughs> Sam transformed Byright without a business plan or bank credit. Instead, he and his brother borrowed $100,000 in startup cash from their dad and then rolled up their sleeves. I'm not a business guy. I had no target. I was a cook. You know, all I wanted to do was feed people and connect with people through food as a means of expressing my passion and as a means of bringing people together. They even operate a nonprofit dedicated to reconnecting customers with farmers. So I didn't, I didn't really come into it thinking, all right, what's my target audience? You know, I didn't do a business plan. We're going to sell what we want to sell. We're going to prepare what we want to prepare. And if it's good, hopefully people will appreciate it. Give me five, give me five. Yeah. yeah. I never even imagined that we could get to this point. It's still kind of a bizarre dream of sorts. Today, the Byright Mini Empire employs 75 people and rakes in an amazing $4,000 per square foot. Whole Foods only makes $1,000. But just getting as big as they can is not the point. If it were bigger, it wouldn't be the same store. And we wouldn't be able to have the same relationships with our guests. Linda, your sandwich is ready. I wouldn't be able to like see people and know them by face if it was 20,000 square feet. That to me is what the magic of it is. It's not the commerce of it. Just bringing people together and connecting them. And food is just the, the means that I do it with. There isn't a week that goes by that a developer or a landlord calls me and says, I've got a space for you. It's not going to get much bigger than it is right now. Another Buy Right store is in the works, and to expand Sam's wife's dessert offerings, the Buy Right Creamery and Bake Shop was opened nearby in 2006. We might do another one or two creameries, but beyond that, I think we're at the cap of where we're going to go. I realized fairly early that if you're going to spend you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 hours a week doing something, that you sure as hell better love it. It better be something that feeds you, and it feeds you more than just financially. It better feed your soul, it better feed your mind, it better, better spark those passions that are inside of you. If I'm gonna wake up every morning and look in the mirror, I need to be honest not only with myself, but with everybody around me, and do, make, making sure that I'm doing the right thing, and treating everybody as if the way that I would want myself to be treated something that's tremendously missing in the business world and in society in general is, is that respect, you know, it's that respect for humanity and respect for society. So those three things, love, passion, integrity, man, I live with them forever.